This meeting is being recorded. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much Good for evening. coming early. Good evening. Hello, Rufino. Hello, Claudia. Hello. Hello, eh, Carla, Gabriela, Patricia, Maria. Let's see, Maria Veronica and Emily. Thank you so much for coming early, guys. So let's go to the lesson that we have for today. And let's start with this activities, right? So let's try to discuss more about these persons. Let's see, uh, what do you know about, or who are they? Who are they, Gabriela Cortez? Who are they? Do you know these persons? Um, I believe um, Bill Gates. Yes, this one is Bill Gates, right? And do you know this one, Luis? Do you know this guy? Mm -hmm. I know, oh. but I don't remember the name. Yeah, it is Gandhi, right? Gandhi. Gandhi. That one. Okay, so why are they famous or why they were famous for? Do you know, Rufino, why, for example, Bill Gates is famous for or Gandhi? Uh, Mah Mahatma Gandhi is famous for uh, for for be for be uh, for be person humanist. Um, uh, he 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 fight for for pay for for peace for peace, for peace, in, peace in freedom, peace, right? Freedom, freedom in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is freedom in the world uh, is Mahatma Gandhi mm -hmm. in Bill Gates uh, is fear famous for the um, uh, founder Microsoft founder right the founder uh, founder Microsoft founder is the other other thing that is in this moment I don't remember <laughs> yes that is what you remember right in fact you said uh, basically what most of us know about, for example, Bill Gates and Mahama Gandhi, right? Okay, so we're gonna have a reading about these persons, about what they do, about what they are doing, right? Okay, let's have a look of this reading. Can you help me with the first paragraph, Claudia Iraeta? Can you help me to read? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Grammar in, the, grammar in the real world. What are the char characteristics mm -hmm. of a successful person? Read the article about Mahatma uh -huh. Gandhi and Bill Gates. What quality do they have in common? Okay, thank you, Claudia. So, for Luis, what are some characteristics of a successful person? ¿Cuáles son algunas características right? para una persona exitosa, successful person? So, based on your opinion, Luis, what can be those characteristics? Okay. Good evening. 
Cleaning. 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 Of a successful person, it must be the discipline. Mm -hmm. uh, discipline, perseverance. To be perseverant, persistent too. Mm -hmm. yeah. And leadership. And I to think. And, uh, yes, right. And yeah. what, for example, what kind of qualities do they have in common? What do you think that they have in common? Mahama Gandhi and Bill Gates. Mahatma Gandhi. Mm -hmm. Both and uh, Bill Gates. Mahatma Gandhi, what? Uh, what qualities do they have in common? Excuse me. What qualities? What qualities do they have in common? In common. Mm -hmm. In common. In common. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I think that they, Mahatma Gandhi was a leadership and the Bill Gates as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Both. And, uh, both both uh, both have a uh, a big intelligence and they are smart and they are and in the case of gandhi was right very smart okay thank you yeah. Liz. let's have a look of the reading can you help me with the first part maritza yolanda can you help me to read the making of success. Thank you follow with the first paragraph. Okay. Uh, some people have said that a successful person is like a more tone. And the persons, okay. the person stick out uh, wherever he or she goes. Uh, people always seem to to not notice uh, sometimes special about the person. Have you ever wondered why? Uh, have you ever wondered why? Uh, what makes someone successful? Um, okay, thank you. Thank you, Maritza. So let's continue with the next one. Can you help me, uh, Carla Veronica, for some time? For some time, researchers have been trying to answer this question. They have been looking closely at people who have achieved, mm -hmm. achieved success in their lives, and they have discovered some very interesting traits. Traits. Again, traits. traits. Okay, thank you, Carla. So, from this part, guys, is there like a word that you don't know, for example, alguna palabra about pronunciation or meaning for the words? Zoom, zoom, zoom. I'm sorry? What do you mean, zoom? Zoom, zoom. Oh, thumb. Thumb, uh-huh. Oh, it can be like como dolor de garganta, like a bad feeling, right? Mm -hmm. Sort of. Thumb. It can be the dolor de garganta, according to the dictionary. Then we have another word. Sticks. Okay, it sticks out. It's like como que se apega uh, to something. Sticks out. Any other guys? Um, researchers. I'm sorry? Researchers. Okay, eh, escuché la speak out también, no sé. And um, no alcancé a escuchar the next one. También puede apegarse o como resaltar también. Any other guys? Uh, I didn't listen well, the others. Wonder. Oh, wonder, wonder. Y como preguntarse. ¿Te has preguntado? Have you ever wondered why? ¿Te has preguntado por qué? Me, okay. Uh, hmm. Researchers. Researchers. Okay, eh, son como los que investigan, right? 
and pseudo scientists, persons who the ones that make uh, investigation, right? And uh, yeah, basically that. Hmm? Any other? Closely. Closely is de cerca, closely. And descubierto, right? De cerca, closely. Okay, any other? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, so let's, ha let's identify the present perfect. What sería the present perfect in this paragraph? What are some sentences that present the present perfect? What is some of have the say, Yeah, right. Have, have said say that a mm -hmm. Have said that a success. Have discovered it. Mm -hmm. Have yes. discovered it. Oh, yes. Have discovered. The question, have you ever wondered? Yeah, what? right. Have you ever wondered? Any have Okay, have achieved. Have, have been tried. Mm, this one, no. Ese es otro tiempo que vamos a ver más adelante. Es otro tiempo. Así que esta no es el present perfect. Pero está relacionado. It is very close. Vamos a ver más adelante. That changes. Okay, so we have have said, have wondered, have achieved, and have discovered. Let's see what happens or what Mahama Gandhi did, right? Can you help me um, with the paragraph? Claudia Iraeta, can you help me, Claudia? The first paragraph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. Mahatma Gandhi is one person the research have studied. Gandhi was born in India in 1869, although he died in 1948, his life and princip principles have been inspiring people and over the world since then. Okay, thank you. So let's continue with the next paragraph. Let's see, can you help me, Tatiana? I don't know if you can help me. Okay, that mm -hmm. you believe in no violence and he uses this principle to help Indian gain independence from the British. This example has been has, has been guiding guiding moments for civil rights and freedom around the world ever since. In spite of great personal risk he never gave up on his goal to help the poor and the and the unprivileged mm -hmm. such as ethnic minorities. Additionally, he always aimed to live a simple life. At the time of Gandhi's death, the Premier Minister of the India, I know him on the radio. The light has gone out of our light of this, and there is darkness everywhere. Okay, that is a powerful message, right? About this person. Really important information, right? So, is there any word that you, uh, for example, don't know the pronunciation? Or um, any, any work, guys, that you maybe have some doubts? No? Okay. So what do you think about this person? About this person, Marbelli? Hello, Marbelli? Okay, what about uh, you, Catherine? What do you think about this person? No, let's see, Carlos Dupont, what about you? What do you think about this person? 
uno al lado. Uh -huh. Yes, Carlos, Ubaldo. Sorry, teacher, uh, estoy entrando a clases. Okay, okay. So what about you, Emily Marroquín? What do you think about uh, this person? Hello, Emily Marroquí. What do you think about this person? Hello, Emily. Hello. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this person? Have a student. Okay, you are studying this. Okay, you are reading this. Okay, thank you, Emily. What about uh, you, Tatiana? What do you think about, uh, about this person? Is a wonderful mm -hmm. person. Okay, yes, right. He was a wonderful person, right? Because of all of what he did. Yes, right. Okay, so let's see what Bill Gates did then. Okay, Norma. Okay, so can you help me with the paragraph? Um, maybe you can help me, Rufino, with this info. Oh, no, no. Jenny, do you want to read, Jenny? Okay, perfect, Jenny. Thank you. Sorry, Rufino. Go ahead, please, Jenny. Many people consider Bill Gates one of the most successful people in the world and certainly one of the, of the rich, richest. Richest. Gates mm -hmm. founded the Microsoft Corporation in 90... 19? Mm -hmm. 19, uh, 7... Uh, mm -hmm. In 19, 19. 94, mm -hmm. he formed the Bill and Melinda. He has contributed billions of dollars to organizations and programs working in global health, including, including public health organizations, and he continues to work for world health and education. The secret of the success of Gandhi, Gates, and other successful people is, is strikingly similar. Mm -hmm. They have found a purpose in life and, and are not afraid to take action, to take risks or to work hard. Sometimes have failed, but they have always gone, uh, permit me, mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. gone to reach their goal. Okay, interesting, right, thank you. So as you can see, these guys are famous because all of the effort, right, about the goal they had. Okay, so is there any word, guys, that uh, you don't know, for example? Is there a word, vocabulary? Strikely. Strikely, okay, this one. Strikely, this one. It is sorprendentemente, right? It is strikely similar or también despampanante. Okay, so what are some of the present perfect? What are some algunas oraciones the present perfect, right? That are in the paragraph. What can be some of the present perfect sentences? Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. They have five. They have mm -hmm. found. Um, this they, are... they have um... no 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 oh they have found yes this one right any other Go on. yeah right they have, they... Mm -hmm. they have filed yes they have failed you he, mm -hmm. he has contributed he has contributed Oh, yes, he has contributed with billions, right, of dollars. Imagine a lot of money for organizations, billions of dollars. Hey, a lot of money, right? 
And uh, yes, we use this, right? We use these Microsoft Corporation things that they do. Okay, so this is the information we have about the present perfect and some vocabulary. Okay, so let's go with the tasks that we have for today. Remember that we are studying the grammar section and also you are practicing. Entonces, we have the present perfect, right? Ahí estudiamos la, la estructura, but it is good to remind the, the structure. Vemos en la forma afirmativa que utilizamos el have más dos sujetos, right? I, you, we, y they. La forma contractada sería I've, the contraction, the apostrophe, and uh, V-E, right? Finished. Y me parece que fue Rufino que dijo, y así es, right? La forma corta la vamos a utilizar when we are speaking and then we are writing. Then we have has, we need she or it, the apostrophe, and next. And don't forget the past participle too, very important. The negative, not or have it, has not or hasn't. As a question, first we we place the have or has at the very beginning, then the subject, then the past participle. Then we have the, uh, the short answers. Yes, I have, no, I haven't, and so on. No sé si hay dudas about the structure, about this person perfect. Tense. No, okay, good. We are perfect with this topic then. Okay, terminamos. We finished this part yesterday but it is missing the second part, right? Okay, let's go with that letter B. Can you help me with letter B? Fino, please, letter B. What do you have for letter B? The students leave. What, what is the sentence you have? Uh, the, uh, the, the student mm -hmm. an affirmative sentence? Yes, or affirmative. Question? Affirmative. And affirmative is mm -hmm. the, uh, the students have left. Mm -hmm. Have left. I don't remember. And a, a, a student have left. Early. Uh, right. Early. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. What about letter C, Maria Veronica? What do you have, Maria Veronica, for letter C? The sons and then you have the verb finish. What do you have, Maria Veronica? Hello, Maria. The microphone, I think the microphone. Can I hear? Hola, hola. The... The exam. Mm -hmm. The exams. Mm -hmm. Finish. Have finished. Have finished. Los exámenes han finalizado. That's good. Thank you. So, what about the letter D, Stella? What do you have for letter D? Me, teacher. Oh, who says me? Me have broken leg. Who says me? Then, Danny? Mm -hmm, Danny. Uh, mm -hmm. Danny. Yes, Estela. Danny. Have. Okay. Have. Um, mm -hmm. Have. Or has. Broke. Mm -hmm. So here, has. Right? Has. has. Mm -hmm. Porque estamos hablando de he, right? Dani, <laughs> Estaba leyendo la siguiente. Ah, ok, no problem. Mm -hmm. Broken leg. Mm -hmm. Broken leg. Dani has broken his leg, right? Okay. okay, thank you, Estela. So the next one, letter E. What do you have for letter E, Carla, Verónica? What do you have? Letter E, I send you email. What do you have? 
Carla, are you there? No? Okay, can you help me? Let's see. Me, teacher. Who says me? I have this sent you email. Oh, yes, right. I have sent, sent you email. Sent you an email. Okay, that's good. She has seen this thing before. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Then we have the next one. She has, has seen. She has seen this thing before. This film before. Okay. Then we have Dave and Joe. What do you have for that one? What do you have, Dave and Joe? Dave and Joe. And Joe have warm, right? Have warm. Warm. Mm -hmm. warm there is color. Uh, She's in a big. Okay, recordemos que pass participle de we is warm. Okay, what about there? That one was very tricky. There. Pass. Mm -hmm. there, there. Pass. Here has. Uh, mm -hmm. There has. Been. Been. Mm -hmm. Accident. An accident, yes. Accident. Okay, and that was the test, right? Las podemos revisar, and so you can check the ones that are correct and the ones that you need to check, right? Okay, so can I move to the next slide? Por favor, pasame la siguiente slide, guys. Yes. Okay, so that means a yes to me. Let's see in the chat. Picture, give me a minute. It's raining. Okay, Gabriela. So, lo que voy a hacer es que se las, I'm going to share it in the group for you to have, Gabriela. Okay, so what about this one, guys? What about this one? Tenemos que hacerlas as question, right? So, can you help me? First one, Alma Saavedra, can you help me with letter B? What do you have for the letter B? Hello, Alba. Hello. Oh, yes, I can Hello. hear you, Alba. Um, letter B. Yes, letter B. Question, right. Let's get your question. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, has it... Mm -hmm. Has it rained today? Okay, has it rained today? And what do you have as an answer? Eh, ya casi. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> ok. Dice, no, it hasn't, right? Digamos que durante el día, in my case, no ha llovido. So, no, it hasn't, but almost. Thank you, Alba. What about letter C? Can you help me, Jenny, with letter C? Jenny? Mm -hmm. Jenny, yes, please, Jenny. Okay. Have have done this you exercise have before no before. Mm -hmm. Okay, have have you have have done. Have you have done. you done? Huh? This is exercise before, right? It's almost raining, right? I can see when, I don't know where you live, but here, for si acaso, by under the internet, porque ya va a llover, it's almost raining. Okay, so what is the answer, uh, Jenny? Have you done this exercise before? No, I haven't. Okay, no. 
No, I have it. Yes, right. Okay, what about letter D? Thank you, Jenny. Maritza, what do you have for letter D, Maritza? Okay. Uh, letter D. Mm -hmm. Goat. Mm -hmm. Has. Bueno, has. Has people. Mm -hmm. Muy inter interesting. Has people. Uh -huh. Has people got. Uh -huh. Better for life. Better for life. Oh. Uh -huh. For life. For life. What do you think, guys? Podemos cambiar algo? Or is it okay? ¿Podemos utilizar has with people? Uh, is, um, mm -hmm. um, yes. ¿Podemos utilizar okay. has for people? People is plural. Okay. In, mm -hmm. in this case, in this case, uh, uh, we, ca we can't you said um, how mm -hmm. but here tenemos que utilizar has we have to use has right so how can we change how can we change has life has yeah. life has has life has life has life got better for people ¿Ha mejorado la vida de las personas? Okay. Mm -hmm. And what is the answer? What can be the answer? Mm, no. no, right? No, <laughs> no, 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 of less. course. <laughs> no, it has, definitely. No, it more or less, no. Todo está caro. <laughs> or so, so, right? <laughs> Everything is, is expensive, too. And the things are smaller. Well, I'm so angry. <laughs> for the war, for the war, uh, yeah. war? Yes, for the Ukraine, war. for Russia. Yes, from the Ukrainian, Ukrainian, Ukrainian war, right? In Russia, yeah, for sure it is for that. And we pay, right? We pay for that. Okay, what about letter E? What do you have for letter E? Can you help me, uh, Luis, with letter E? What do you have? Letter E. Mm -hmm. uh, have have the tem the temperatures. Yes, have the temperatures. Rise and words. Have the words right. Have the words. Words temperatures. Rise and right. What can be the answer, please? Uh, yes. Yes. Huh? Yes, it, it has. Okay, in this case, since it is plural, we have to decide they, yes, they have, right? Yes, they have. have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what about letter F? Can you help? Thank you, Luis. Can you help me with letter F? Um, Veronica de Martinez, can you help me with letter E? Hello, Veronica. No, okay. What about uh, Maria Luz de Mileto? Can you help me, Maria Luz? Okay. Mm -hmm. um. Hi. Mm -hmm. The goal of mm -hmm. a no, 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 um, I never has. has the price, okay, half the price, mm -hmm. uh, 
um, of a petrol. Of petrol. No. Of petrol. Of, of petrol. Mm -hmm. um, the gun. Gun upright. Gone up. And what can be the answer? Has the price of petrol gone up? You can get a prediction. Yes, that's what, right. Okay, what can be the answer, hey, Maria? Um, mm -hmm. Has aumentado el, el petróleo, right? El precio del petróleo. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Como que son predictions, right? Yes, it has. And a lot. Has. Some people. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has. Okay. okay, thank you, Maria. Okay, what about letter G? Can you help me? Okay, Veronica. Okay, can you help me? Let's see, Tatiana, with letter G. What do you have for letter G, Tatiana? Have you? Mm -hmm. Have you? Have seen? you seen? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Have you seen? Okay. What? What can be? What? What can be the other part, guys? Have you seen? A play. A play. A play. A play. At play. At the theater. Theater, right? At the theater. Yes. What is the answer? What is the answer? What is it? Yes, I have. And thank you, Tatiana. And the last one, Andrea Renderos. What do you have for letter H? Hello, Andrea. No, okay. So, can you help me? Uh, let's see. Or who wants to help me with the last one, guys? Who has the last one? Who has the last one? Nobody. Oh. Has. Right. Has. This mm -hmm. one. Has the. This one. This one. Me go. Me go. Uh -huh. Pero nos hace falta, it is missing football, right? Has the football season begun? And the answer? Yes or no, right? Yes. It yes. has. Okay, there it is. No sé si hay dudas, questions about this part. No questions? No? Okay. So uh, let's continue then with the class, right? Okay, now it's time for this extension activity. This part is going to with the translation. Okay, it's going to be to internalize the topic. Okay, we have this sentence. His sister has won a swimming competition. How can we translate this sentence? How can we translate this sentence? Mm -hmm. How can we translate this sentence? Yes, right. Tenemos su hermana ha ganado. Remember, el A belongs to the present perfect. Ganado es swimming. Una competencia de swimming, right? What about letter B? I've seen this film three times. ¿Cómo podemos traducir this sentence? Yo he visto esta película tres veces. That's right. Very good. What about this one? They've built a road. Ellos han construido un, un, un nuevo camino o carretera. Yes, that's right. Ellos han construido, right. Aquí está la forma contractada. 
What about letter D? Have you finished your homework? Has terminado tu tarea. Perfect. Has terminado tu tarea. That's right. Thank you. What about letter E? Has he decided what he wants to do? How can we translate that? Eh, él ha decidido lo que él quiere hacer. That's right. Ha decidido lo que él quiere hacer. Okay. So, estamos muy bien with this topic, right? With the meaning. No sé si hay dudas or questions about this part. If not, we can move to the next activity. No? Okay. No, it is too much time. Okay, so vamos a ver, we're going to study this day about four and things, right? Four and things. Okay, let's see, can you help me with this information, Estela? Can you help me to read, Estela? We use? We use the present perfect to talk about situation which began, began okay. in the mm -hmm. past and continue into the present. And we want to say how long they have lasted. We often use how long for um, since, since, since with the since the with, with the present perfect to express, express this idea. Okay, thank you, Stella. So remember that we use the present perfect when an activity started in the past and continued. Since, we can say that it is desde. Desde 1938, desde el 2000, por ejemplo, yo he trabajado con mi desafor. Ejemplo, desde since 2014, I have worked with INSAFOR. Desde el 2014, yo he trabajado con INSAFOR. Una actividad that started in the past, but I still do that, right? Then we have four, que significa por un periodo, por ejemplo, por dos años, por tres, and so on. Okay, let's go with four and six. Can you help me, Luis, with the information? Four and six, when to use them? To say how long a current situation has lasted, we use things with a point in time in the past, and 8 o'clock, 1975, August last week, I was born, he arrived. Mm -hmm. I live here since 2004. Things have been better since I changed schools. Okay, thank you, Luis. Here we have some phrases that we can use with things. For example, we can use time or clock, a time in the past, month, for example, and the same expressions. We have the examples. Yo he vivido aquí desde. 2004. Things have been better. Las cosas han mejorado desde que me cambié de escuela. Okay, we have the expression since the sentence, since I'm changed. Vamos a ver, let's study four. Can you help me with the information? Emily, can you help me with the information, Emily? When to use four? Okay, uh, we use the present, uh, we use for with a period of the, of time that continues until now, 82 years, a month, a few minutes, a half an, half an hour, age, uh, hundreds of years. Uh, I live here for year, for four years. Um, my dad has, had the same car for 15 years. Okay, so we can use, for example, four 
with some years, right? For example, a month, two, and with expression of few minutes, ages, and hundred of years. Tenemos, I lived here for four years. He vivido aquí por cuatro años. My dad has had the same car. Mi papá ha tenido el mismo carro por 15 años, right? Okay, no sé si hay dudas about, uh, for example, the for and since, when to use it. I don't know if you have questions. No questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, Claudia? No, no questions. Oh, no questions. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Okay, so let's practice. And uh, I'm going to give you this time for you to complete this section using for or since, right? Vamos a utilizar que sea for or since. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so you can practice this exercise. Okay, let's go. You still have some time and then you practice with your partner. Okay. I will be sharing the, the picture, right, in the WhatsApp group. Los comparto en el grupo de WhatsApp de the exercise. Let's see. Okay, thank you. Uh, about these two. Mm -hmm.
Hello, Alba and Christina. Did you have problems? I think it was the internet, maybe. Hello, no podemos ver la pantalla. No, perdón, eh, Alba, no, no le entendí. Que no pude compartir la pantalla. Ay, ¿Con quién estaba trabajando? Con eh, Claudia. Con Claudia, vaya. Entonces, lo, lo voy a enviar nuevamente para que pueda... Claudia o Cristela, no sé cómo se Claudia, llama. Claudia, sí. Claudia. Sí, vamos okay. a intentar, Alba y okay. Cristela. Gracias. Bueno, eh, Alba. Hola, hola, Cristela. Veamos... Ok, tiene que unirse al ¿vale? tiene que darle, eh, unirse a la reunión. Nunca he podido compartir. Yo no, sí, pero hola. hoy no me... Hola, Michelle. nos va a compartir la pantalla. Ok, veamos ahora si podemos compartir. Perdón que no pude. No, no, no hay problema. Ok, intentemos okay. ahora. Uh, ok. Se está fallando también. So, ¿Verdad? Sí, sí no está fallando. Sorry. Creo que sí, ya, ya puede compartir. Me indica algo. Ok. Let me know, ladies, if you need help and uh, I let you work.
have to finish this part, right? We were working in this part using scenes or for. What do you have in the first one, Angela Turan? Nobody has seen him, sería, is it since or for? Since. Sería, yes, right. It is since, right? And we'll say time, right? Since. Desde. El pasado Friday. Okay, what about number two? Luis Enrique, what do you have? It has been foggy. Is it for or since, Luis? What do you have? For. For. For, yes, right. For some days, for algunos días. Okay. Thank you, Luis. What about number three? Uh, let's see, Rufino, what do you have for number three? He sí. has been fishing. Is it for or since? Since. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. It is since. Tenemos un timing desde las seis en punto, right? I have, I have estado pescando since six o'clock. Okay, what about number four? Um, Cristela, what do you have for number four? Since. Okay, they've been living in France since or four? No, four. Four, four, four. 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 Okay, what about number five? Can you help me, uh, Carlos Dubon? The pilots have been on a strike. What do you have, Carlos Dubon? Is it since or four? Four. Mm -hmm. Yes, right, four. And uh, thank you, Carlos. What about number six? Cristela, what do you have? We've had terrible weather. Things. Things. Yes, right. Things. Things desde Saturday. Since Saturday. Okay, thank you. What about the last one? Let's do the last one. What do you have, Alba? I've known Tom. I've known Tom since nineteen ninety. Mm -hmm. Since right, since. since very good. Nineteen ninety, perfect, Alba. So and the next one, Claudia Iraeta. What do you have, Claudia? We have I'll been waiting for the bus for half an hour. Yeah, right, for half an hour. Perfect, Claudia. And for nine, you have a Patricia Veronica, what do you have? She hasn't lost a match. Sin. Yes, right, since. Okay, very good, guys. Estamos bastante bien. If you can share the others from 10 to 13, with the responses. Okay, guys, I don't want to take too much time. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night, guys, and be safe, right? Good night, teacher. Good night. See you guys. Bye. Take care. Sleep well. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 B